Good morning. Oh, I got annoyed with uh, Jacinda Ardern this morning. Well, I noticed when I started to talk about other countries, uh, politicians in other countries, they can be more annoying than the Swedish ones. We have some very annoying Swedish politicians. But, uh, you know, people like Justin Trudeau or Tony Blair or Angela Merkel, they are more disturbing, I think, than the Swedish ones. Yeah, yeah Jacinda Ardern. So, there was a terrorist attack a few days ago in uh, Auckland, New Zealand. There was this guy with a knife stabbing people. Uh, this is what I heard. Six people wounded, three are in a critical condition. Uh, the police shot the guy who uh, has been living in New Zealand since 2011. He's from Sri Lanka, right? an Islamist right? with a knife. And then there was this comment from Jacinda Ardern. So this is her comment. What happened today was despicable. It was hateful, it was wrong. It was carried out by an individual, not a faith. And I got so disturbed by this stupid comment, right? Well, I think people understand that it wasn't done by a faith. You think this is a, an intelligent statement? I suppose, maybe some people think, oh, that's so smart, Jacinda Ardern, this statement, wow, impressive. Well, people understand it was not, not done by a faith. A faith can't kill anyone, it has to be done by an individual, you stupid cow. Right. But I think also people understand that this guy had a faith. He was inspired by a faith. We understand this. Yeah, you're so stupid. Ah, oh, very annoying. All right, so the, the European Medicines Agency said uh, on Thursday that it's not urgent to give the booster shot to people here in Europe. Uh, what should be priority is to Give the shot to everyone, you know, have everybody take the shot. That's sh that should be a priority. And I thought about this statement from the European Medicines Agency. And this, this, my, this is my conclusion. Uh, you know, the plan from the very beginning was to jab everybody, right? And now they notice that a lot of people will not take it. But they are going for it anyway, so they are trying to make it mandatory. They are testing it, you know, to see how people react to this. You know, in some countries like the UK, uh, France, you know, Italy, a lot of people, a lot of countries, Greece, it's mandatory for certain professions like uh, doctors, uh, healthcare workers, so on. And uh, I know Macron, he talked about making it mandatory for all French. Yes. Good luck with this. Uh, and now also Italy. Yes. Speaking about annoying politicians, Italy has this puppet PM, Mario Draghi. And now he said, yeah, Italy could soon make it mandatory for everybody. So they are going for this. They are trying, yes, to see how people react to it. Are they able to do it even? Well, I think they might be able to do it. That's the thing, you see. They are this desperate. They are this bad. These people are so bad, you see. So it's possible. Uh, all hell will break loose as they try to do it, of course. But I think they will actually try it. Now Italy is probably a, the worst country you could pick to try such a thing. Yeah, 
oh, these Italians, they will not <laughs> be happy about this idea. I will see what's going to happen here. Now, I, I, I also read this story in the UK. You know, healthcare workers, they need to take the shot or they will be fired. Uh, and they have up until the 11th of November to take it, to take the shot. Now already people are quitting their jobs. Yeah. And it's uh, the, the business, healthcare business, is now screaming to the politicians to, to stop this. It shouldn't be mandatory because they say it will be a catastrophe. These care workers are just quitting, you see. All right, yeah, I got my channel back in order. All right, so it's working now. So, uh, and now I have a backup channel on YouTube as well. All right, well, I'm happy about this. All right, be good.